Okay, today I'm going to do a review of my concealed carry weapon. I carry a Glock 26. Glock came out with this weapon in 1994. It was an alternative to the snubbies that were out at the time. The advantage that it had was that it would hold 10 rounds of 9mm. The snubbies had primarily 38 special plus P at about 145 grains. These are extremely accurate, but let's get to the safety issue first. Make sure that the gun's safe. We'll lock it open, show you that it's not nothing in here, nothing in the barrel. Magazine's empty. We're good to go. We have a safe weapon. Now, as far as the particulars, like I said, it's a 9mm. The overall length of the weapon is 6.29 inches. It has a weight of 19.75 ounces. It has a width of 1.18 inches. The barrel length is 3.46 inches. The magazine here in this state is allowed to have 10 rounds only. It has optional 12, 15, 17 round and 19 round and 33 round magazines depending on the locale and the and legality. The trigger has a 0.5 tenths inch travel. It's very, very light. These are extremely good for concealed carry. The gun, the gun fits in very nice and snug. They're very accurate. They're not very snappy. The other concealed carry weapon that's available like this is the Model 27. That's a 40 caliber. I fired those. They seem a little bit snappy. The Glock doesn't tend to jump around. When, when I do my next video, I'm going to be taking this down to the range and I'll show you how well it performs. On the average, when you're working with concealed carry, you're going to have a hard target in front of you that's probably going to be within a maximum. Uh, you'll be out to about 25 yards, but primarily when you, if you actually get into a firefight, they're going to be with probably within 15 feet of you and you can put around in the target in the center mass quite quickly with this weapon. Uh, here's my other holster that I use for when I'm traveling. It has a loaded magazine in it right now so we're not going to go into that. This is my concealed carry holster. It's a, it's a belt loop type. I carry it on the inside of the belt loop. That way it's tucked in nice and tight to the body. Remember, concealed carry doesn't mean that you don't know it's there you're supposed to know it's there. That way you know, you know where, where to reach for when you're drawing it. It's not all made for comfort. It's made to know that it's there. And it's a significant investment in your time and your energy to go out and practice at whatever range is available using your concealed carry weapon. You must practice, but always do it in a safe environment. When the Glock came out, and uh, I was looking for a concealed carry. I was up in the air as far as whether to get a revolver. I own, I've owned several small revolvers, little J-frames, or I didn't know whether to go with a Glock. I'd never really fired very many semi-autos. But I took, I got a hold of a friend's, I took, went down to the range, and I was very impressed with how the gun handled in my hand. I like the indentations in it, the back strap's very comfortable. You can, when you reach for this weapon, when you're drawing it out of holster, you, you know you've got a hold of the weapon. It's got a good rest. When you lay your fingers into it, you know exactly where you're at. When you're pointing the weapon, you always remember to point it in a safe direction. But when, remember at your range, you point the, your thumbs at your target. Now enough of that part. Let's talk about the use in the holster. And the holster, when, it, when it's in and it's nice and tight, it fits in. It's going to ride high in the belt. Here's your belt line. Picture that just about mid-waist. The gun's going to be up and concealed underneath your shirt or your clothing. It won't go inside clothing very well, but it, it's pretty well to keep maintain uh, concealment when you're carrying it. The gun right, tends to ride high. It's easy to get your shirt up. You'll need to go in and practice at it but it works quite well. I've 
gone to the range, a few outdoor ranges and practiced with it. And it's very easy to uh, work on. Uh, so that's it for this video right now. I'm going to take you on the next video. I'm going to go to an outdoor range where I can actually do some fast draws with it and give you an idea of how well it performs. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed my video. Appreciate any comments.